So I had to jump in here real quick before I start the video. Please learn how to properly ground yourself and remember to unplug your computer's power supply. Okay, so you've looked at this video because you've got an older computer. You're getting one continuous boot loop, and in this case, it's one long beep. Well, that means memory. Now, on this particular instance, it was my old AM2 socket AMD board. Now, it also had DDR2 memory. What's happening is with that one long continuous boot loop beep is it means you have a memory error, like I said. So, how would you fix that? Number one, take out one stick of memory and swap them. Try booting with one stick and then boot with just the other stick. If that doesn't work, your next step is going to be what I had to do. Now, first of all, take out your CMOS battery because you can jump the pins, but in my case, as old as the system is, you're going to want to clean the battery and you're going to clean the, the receptacle, the socket for the battery. You want to clean it with isopropyl alcohol, hopefully 92% or above. Now, when it comes to the RAM, this is what I did. I did the same thing I do to clean my old NES cartridges, okay? You're going to take a number two a pencil with an eraser, and the eraser is what you really want, guys. Very lightly, with even pressure, take the eraser. And now, of course, if you got a lot of crap on it, you want to rub that off on a piece of paper first. But you want to get the clean eraser and just light, even pressure go over the, the sides of the pins on both sides. Just real light and easy. And what you're doing is you're actually picking up some of the corrosion or dust or whatever's on that. After you get done doing that, you want to use compress. I, I use compressed air on it and then compressed air in the motherboard socket for the RAM. Now. You want to use alcohol on just the RAM. Do not put it in the memory slots on the motherboard. Please don't do that. Get a Q-tip, get your alcohol, and go light over these pins again and let it dry. Now, after you've done that, reinsert the RAM and put the CMOS battery, the, hopefully the one you've cleaned up, and clean that socket too. Slap the CMOS battery in. Mine's booted up the first time every time. I've had no other issues. So... Hopefully that helps some of you guys. Like to me, I mean, I, I dug forever, could not find out what was going on. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to look at the actual pins. And they looked fine. They looked fine. But like I said, I just got done working on my NES. Long story short, that's what the issue was. There was a bit of just slight corrosion on the pins. Weren't getting a good enough connection. I hope that helps you guys. If it has, thumb up. If it's still having an issue, leave me a comment. Hopefully we can get some kind of resolution. Y'all have a good one.